Hello, my name is Sam Sloan, and for those of you who are familiar with some of the uh, videos I've been popping on to YouTube over the last few months, I thought I'd share another tip with you today. I get asked quite a lot, how do you keep track of chat? Who, how do you know who's typed what? How do you know that you've even kind of read it out and referenced it back? Because it's so important that you do that. Um, if you've got a very, very large group, you know, sort of, I don't know, 40 50 upwards you're gonna kind of struggle a little bit but i always make sure that i re reference what it is that the learners have typed uh, and kind of read them back i do tend to find that the learners really value uh, their responses being acknowledged as well so how is it that i actually keep track well if we notice here i've got a couple of bits in chat already because i've been playing around with the system today but let's just say uh, i typed um a message into chat but then I've got ZZ Sam here on my uh, second sign-in computer who logs in as an attendee so let's just say I have gone to that particular delegate and I've said right okay I can see that Sam has uh, typed a message into chat I can highlight that message so when ZZ Sam types something and I'll just put anything I can see there that the message below I haven't read that out I don't know, um, I, I haven't referred to that message at all. So I could then go to ZZ Sam and say, actually ZZ Sam, thanks for adding that, blah, 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 whatever it is that ZZ Sam has said. It could have been a question, it could have been a comment, it could have been something additional to maybe whatever the discussion was going on within the session. Once I've read that out, I then highlight that message. And then if anything new that comes in, I know I haven't read it. But if Zed Sam types another message now before anybody else, it tends to block them in Zoom. So let's just see what happens when Zed Sam types another message. So it will highlight, it will stay highlighted on the top one, but I can remember because I've only just literally read it that actually that message below I haven't read, read out. It just gives me the heads up. Another little tip that you can do as well, when you ask a question, and you want to make sure that everything below those messages that you've actually already read out um, it, it is below that. What I tend to do is I put my cursor into chat and I just put a load of full stops. Press enter. And now I know after those full stops is everything that my learners have responded to from that particular question as well. I find that really helpful just to kind of break it down and just to kind of refer it back to uh, as well. Like I mentioned, though, in one of my other videos, you can also save chat. Um, just simply click on the little dots at the side and you can save chat. And then, of course, you can refer back to that as well. Give that a go. See if it works, see if it helps you um, in regards to just making sure that you don't miss anything, any comments or any questions from your learners. And I just do find that it can be really quite helpful. So let me know how you get on with that. Pop it in the comments below. Be really interested to hear. Thanks again.